Dakota is running out of time. Multiple court cases, hearings, motions, a pardon from the governor of Maine himself, and now an appeal to the Supreme Court of the state. Her supporters are doing everything they can to keep her alive. This is the Husky Dakota. Nearly the entire judicial system of the state of Maine has been fired up to argue her case. She is, in effect, on death row. And on Tuesday, a district court judge rejected the latest attempt to save her life. I really want her to uh, stay alive, obviously. It's hard not to feel bad for Dakota. Just look at that face. But the story is not that simple. It begins last May. Dakota jumped into a neighbor's yard, attacking little Zoe, whose owners looked on in horror. The most horrific thing you can possibly imagine to be holding a dog that you love so deeply and to hear it whimpering and crying and dying in your arms. Zoe didn't survive. DA Megan Maloney filed a civil case against Dakota's owner, Matthew Perry. The judge ruled Dakota was dangerous. Perry was required by Maine law to keep the husky in a secure place, designed to prevent the animal from escaping from the enclosure. But in February, it happened again. Dakota jumped into the same neighbor's yard. The DA says she attacked the couple's new dog, Bruce Wayne, the pug the couple got to replace Zoe. Dakota's owner disputes that account. The pug had no injuries. But back in civil court on March 21st, the judge ordered Dakota be euthanized. But this is where the story takes an unexpected turn. The Humane Society contacted Governor Paul LePage pleading for Dakota's life. On March 30th, the governor granted Dakota the dog a full and free pardon. But there's a problem. <clears throat> the governor cannot issue a pardon in a civil case, cannot issue a pardon of an, for an animal, and is um, supposed to follow a procedure. So all three of those were violated in this case. But for me, the one that's the most important is the governor should listen to the victim before making a decision. Now the case may wind up in the state Supreme Court. Dakota's supporters hoping the judges there might give the Husky another chance. <clears throat> While the Supreme Court decides whether to take the case, Dakota is being held at the Humane Society. They say she has been playful and cooperative, showing no signs of aggression. The Humane Society also tells us this is a good reminder for all dog owners that they need to protect their dogs from getting into trouble and protect their neighbors from their dogs at for sure. times. Yeah, Stephanie. Stephanie. Keep us posted. Thank I you. Will. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.